Uh, hey guys, welcome to the first episode of Aculia Startup. Today we have a really special guest. He's a WWDC scholar. He runs a YouTube channel that has more than 100,000 subscribers. And he also runs a startup called CodeDam. Uh, thank you, Mehul, for coming to the podcast. Thank you for having me. Um, so, you started this YouTube channel in ninth grade. Yeah, most, in, in. most ninth graders are either doing their math homework or asking out a girl. Yeah. But you started a YouTube channel for uh, coding. Yeah. And you record your screen and did a voiceover and started That's floating right. on YouTube in ninth grade. Yeah. Um, it's it's actually tenth. So oh, was it tenth grade? Yeah. Cool. Um, so was what was your influence huh. that made you start this channel? Was it some other YouTube channel that you referred to exactly. and you want to mimic it, or was it something really instinctive? So basically, the only reason I started my YouTube channel was because of New Boston. Oh. So that New Boston is Bucky Roberts. I uh -huh. believe every developer on the planet who has ever used YouTube to learn something knows mm -hmm. about him. Exactly. Yeah. Like he's the number one YouTuber even though he has not put out content for two years now. Exactly. I saw so I used to follow him. I used to learn, you know, HTML, CSS, PHP, general stuff from his channel. Mm -hmm. And what I saw is that sometimes he misses some of the stuff which usually happens. Okay. And sometimes I feel like like maybe we could do a little faster, like mm -hmm. we can go over these concepts a little bit faster, see, cool. you know, in, uh, spend some more time on that particular thing, mm -hmm. spend less time on that particular thing. So I come up with all these optimizations, mm -hmm. but I had nothing nothing to do about that. Okay. So what I did is uh, I used to study from other sources as well, like mm -hmm. the Mozilla Developer Network. So sources like these yeah. actually allow me allowed me to you know get a different perspective on a single thing. Mm -hmm. Now I have like the perspective of how the new Boston sees thing, mm -hmm. how a person who wrote that particular article saw that thing, mm -hmm. and uh, you know different blog, different blog articles and stuff. Okay. So I tried to combine all this information into mm -hmm. something I can deliver myself. So assuming most of our viewers are new to coding, what would be your go-to tips for all those really new coders? Uh, say they have zero knowledge of HTML, zero knowledge of CSS. What do you think is the? Uh, what do you think are the skills that the industry needs right now, and how can they get started in the most easy manner? First of all, I think you have to figure out the reason why you want to be a coder. Okay. Like once you're clear on that, that mm -hmm. you want to be a coder because you either like it, yeah. Maybe you know you're looking for quick cash. That is also mm -hmm. a legit reason. Yeah. Like whatever your reason is, then figure out what do you want to do with that particular thing you want to learn. Mm -hmm. For example, you just said you want to learn HTML, CSS, or whatever yeah. it is. For me, there was a reason for mm -hmm. that to learn. In 8th, ninth grade, I used to see those shiny subscribe to us boxes mm -hmm. on various blogs and sites and I yeah. used to wonder that how they actually create that oh, particular okay, stuff. Cool. And then, you know, I just signed up on a site, a freelance site called Fiverr mm -hmm. in order to learn, just in order to learn. Okay. So I, I, I did not know anything at that particular point. Uh -huh. So my first order at Fiverr was cancelled. Oh. So my first order at Fiverr was cancelled and it was a very basic thing to do. Like I just had to add a functionality of clicking on mm -hmm. a button and there should be an expanded content. That's, oh, it. that's it. And I was not able to do that. Mm -hmm. But the thing is that... When did this happen? When did you make your first plan? Uh, I don't exactly remember. Somewhere, sometime in ninth grade. So, okay. yeah. yeah. So, that really started. Right? Yeah. I mean, I used to sit at home. Uh, I had friends but... Uh, in my society, there were not really a lot of people who mm -hmm. were, you know, interested into stuff I was into. Mm -hmm. So I usually used to sit at home and, you know, read about these articles and I stuff see. and used to think how I can do similar stuff. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so that eventually got me into coding because I wanted to customize things on site. Because uh -huh. I used to wonder what, what if we could place this button a little on the left? How do mm -hmm. I do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to figure that stuff out, I learned HTML, CSS. Okay. Then I wondered, like, this is interesting stuff. Why not? What is this JavaScript thing? Yeah. And once I started into JavaScript, that basically introduced me to actual programming, that is mm -hmm. actual scripting. Mm -hmm. And then there was no looking back. Yet. Amazing. Um, so, um, since we are already on the topic of coding, what do you think about the recent hype in AI and ML? Like 90% of the students, at least in our campus at Bitspilani, are learning different ML models. Everyone's, uh, everyone's crazy about ML and that's the only thing they talk about. Uh, do you think it's compromising the development end or do you think it's just a bubble that's going to burst soon, especially in college? 
Uh, AI ML is definitely not a bubble. Yeah. Like true. it is the future. It is mm -hmm. going to be a future mm -hmm. whether you like it or not. So mm -hmm. uh, for me, it's more like if you are the person who's going into AI and ML, mm -hmm. are you the one who's showing the world that you're doing AI and ML or actually doing it? Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are just, you know, putting a face mask in front of them yeah. that they, ca they are able to write on their resume yeah. that yeah. they do yeah. AI and ML. Exactly. But the true people who are able to do it actually know mm -hmm. till the metal what's going on. Mm -hmm. So I think that is an important thing to do. Honestly, I'm not an AI ML person myself. Mm -hmm. I've tried a lot of times to think, I think a lot of times to get into that particular field. Uh -huh. But the only reason I had not into that is because in order to actually truly learn it, mm -hmm. you have to go through a lot of mathematics. Exactly. A lot of theoretical stuff. Yeah. And I'm the kind of person who likes to see quick output at least. Mm -hmm. So HTML, CSS, like just like I started, yeah, yeah, you can yeah. just, you know, get output from the very hello world you write. Exactly. For this stuff, you have to go through a rigorous course, like, you know, four, five, six months of mathematics, statistics, stuff like that to build a basic, okay. basic stuff, okay. basic understanding. So for me, yeah, I mean, for AI ML, it's not going anywhere, mm -hmm. but if you want to get into, get, get into this AI ML stuff, mm -hmm. you have to be the best in order okay. to survive. Okay. And to be the best, you have to be, uh, you know, just learn it from your heart. Mm -hmm. And you need a good reason for that. So yeah. think about your reasons. Why do you want to do a particular thing? That mm -hmm. is very important. Makes sense.